they fucking work what's going on so i thought my wiring was done but i forgot that there was one thing that i never did and that was rewire my headlights turn signals tail lights and all that good stuff uh which is gonna be pretty fun now i have all of my wiring basically it's all right here right there and then there's some uh for the lights i'm not exactly sure but i think it's somewhere up in here but it's all there i just gotta figure out how to tie it into because what i want to do is i want to tie it back in with my original switch here so i don't have to have any kind of special switch or anything like that so that's the goal um the problem will be is that i can't put the actual uh, bed back on yet so i can't actually put the but this is just a matter of like just pushing it into the the tail light housing itself so i can actually look at it and see if it works uh without you know having to worry about that so that's what i'm gonna be doing today that way i still have to get uh registered and whatnot so that i can drive it around uh, but once i get that done uh, i'll be able to drive it around but i need to have headlights and taillights so that's what i'm gonna be starting on today so i can go ahead and have it ready and i still need to weld up the diff i'm just a little scared to do it honestly uh because if i mess it up then i have to buy a whole new uh, gears and everything on the inside so i'm just trying to make sure that the way i do it is right um and then i'm gonna do it so let me get into figuring out how i'm gonna wire this up okay so this is what i've determined here uh what we have here are all the front lights um let me see if i can remember this correctly uh, i do believe this is highs and lows the light green and the what looks i'm not sure what that's supposed to be like a it looks tan right now i don't know if that was the original color and then there's black for ground obviously um and then this light blue is the left turn signal and the dark blue is the right turn signal and then the brown goes to the parking lights and that green doesn't go anywhere um and then right here we have uh let's see uh, this is the turn signals right here the dark green and the tannish color again um and then this is the the uh just the lights that and then these are the parking lights the uh, so and the uh parking lights and the the tag lights right here the brown one um uh, if you're wondering what these other ones are this is fuel pump and then this one is fuel sender just if you were wondering um yeah yeah go ahead and uh knock see if i can figure out a way to hook up that original switch because everything's still there it's all still there i just gotta i'm gonna i can pull this out real quick and uh check it out let me pull it out real quick so this is this this here is the switch and uh basically what we have here this is the uh switch power and you have your red which is a constant this is your low beam and this is your going to be your parking lights the uh, brown one right here and then right here you have your dimming switch uh, which is mostly for the um, interior lights which i don't have so i'm not going to be messing with this right here i'm just going to be messing with this part thankfully uh, and then the rest of the wires are going to be coming out which i have that down there and I, I have all that, so we're going to jump into that so we can go ahead and knock out all this wiring, have it done right, and be able to be legal on the road. So let me show you what I have accomplished so far, and hopefully it, it aids you in what you're trying to figure out as well. So what we have here, this is the, the harness that plugs into the back of the headlight switch. Um, we've talked about what the wires are, but we're going to talk about it one more time. Um, so this wire right here is the brown wire and these run to your courtesy lights um and let's see here this is your constant hot that is going to run into your you do not have to fuse this this red wire it's just a constant hot um and then this is your switched power that gives power to the, your courtesy lamps or parking lamps whatever you want to call them they call them courtesy lamps in the book i just keep looking at the book um and then this right this wire right here is actually what heads up this is, sends out power and it sends the power to you see, yeah, let me get you a better view okay so you see you see this switch oh, hold on. so you see that switch uh, you see that switch right there 
that or well that harness plug right there that is actually the connector that is heading up to the um to right here and so the as you can see that tan or that tan wire that runs into it or not really tan a yellow wire that is this wire right here this wire right here is that one right there right there below or kind of below the green wire right there and then the green wire and the tan wire are the wires that are running out to your high and low beams so those wires actually run to your high and low beams so you find the ends of those and you connect those to the individual because on your headlights the harness on your headlights you'll see a tan and you'll see a, a, the green so you just tie those into it and now you have working high and low beams um like i said or so i found a bunch of grounds right here uh so i had a, I had a ground coming from up front that was going through the uh, harness for the headlights it goes for some reason it only goes to the to the driver's side headlight anyways um i connected that because all of these were grounds as well so i connected that one in with the rest of the grounds and i'm just going to shove that out of the way uh some of these wires i won't be messing with but like i want to explain so this is how i'm getting power to that orange wire on my switch right here so this is a 20 amp this will not be this way once i get my once i figure all this stuff out and i can get me you know a breaker box for switch and a breaker bar breaker box for constant and i can i can refine all this stuff i just wanted to get it where it's working um but that that powers this wire right here it also powers uh, a relay for the uh the torque converter lockup i know it's pulling double duty um next thing i need to do is hook up my brakes so I need to figure out now what wire actually is sending power whenever you hit the brake to send it out to the um, you know to the to the to the brake lights so I need to figure that out now okay so hooking up the uh, brake lights is how this is how that's gonna work out um, see if I can explain this properly so you have your brake switch you know right here uh, you got your power coming in with these these two oranges right here. And then this is the, actually the wire that runs out. Uh, this is gonna head out and go actually right over to here. And it's gonna go up through the column. And all your, it does that because of the hazards that are up, that are on here. Uh, and then it runs out of, the, out of there. And it's, let's see, this wire, and it's the yellow, it's supposed to be yellow, and dark green, which are, in turn, this one, and this one uh no wait not this one uh this one yeah this wire and this wire so these two are actually going to be my brake lights and we'll run wires from here and like i said i have the brake wire the brake lines right up here and so i'm gonna run those to right there that'll give me uh brakes and then i just gotta figure out the uh reverse lights and all that good stuff so we're getting it squared away be wiring up the backup lights um, mainly because they run through the um, I can't think of the damn switch on the transmission uh, but that's where it, that's where it, it does its thing right there uh, is on the transmission and I'm not gonna deal with that right now because I didn't wire uh, the uh, dang neutral safety switch yeah that's the thing I was looking trying to figure out yeah so it, it runs uh, out of the neutral safety switch so I'm actually not gonna wire that up right now. If I ever decide to do the neutral safety switch, then I'll probably go that route then. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Um, so now I'm gonna hook everything back up, uh, kind of try to clean up all of this stuff. I might leave it like this way real quick so that I can test everything, um, make sure that everything's working properly. Uh, so let's find out. So as you can see, headlights. And since the switch is on, tail lights now i'm gonna set y'all up so you can tell me if if it's working for the brake lights because honestly i i just don't know so we'll set you up to look at that one right there yeah we're gonna check out this one let me get so that's the one we're gonna look at hopefully it lights up i see some darkness right over here so it may or may not oh i see it lighting oh that's right that's that's the reverse bulb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. The one we're looking at is 
this one lights up more. So let's try that again. It's a, it's a fantastic feeling to finish that. Oh, I was so nervous about this. I was—I figured I was gonna screw it up. I didn't though. I didn't screw it up. See, mom. So as you just saw, um, it's not that bad. Uh, once you have, when you have the right tools, such as schematics and whatnot, and you can decipher what the heck uh, Haynes is trying to tell you. Uh, then you can actually accomplish this stuff and it's fairly easy now This is not gonna be but for you know an s10 uh, first gen more than likely um, You may not experience you know if you have the wiring schematics for your certain vehicle It'll be about the same the colors will be different So all you gotta do is get that wiring schematic and uh, go from there really um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little something I tried to be as detailed as I possibly could and uh, yeah, thanks guys